We continue to investigate lead in school drinking water. Last week, Virginia Beach schools reported 61 water sources with unacceptable lead levels. 13 News Now investigative reporter Evan Watson uncovered the lead testing report in Portsmouth, and he joins us in the newsroom to break down the numbers. This Portsmouth report shows 30 water sources tested for unacceptable lead levels, some as high as 30 times the recommended limit by the EPA. All but three sinks were fixed with a five minute flush of the system, clearing out that buildup of lead. Portsmouth Public Schools tested lead in its drinking water in the summer and fall of 2018. Test results showed alarmingly high levels of lead in some water sources like the 481 parts per billion in this cafeteria sink at Emily Spong Preschool or the 564 parts per billion in this classroom sink at Craddock Middle. For comparison, the EPA says the maximum should be 15 parts per billion, although local public health officials say that's a purposefully high bar. The EPA intentionally sets a very large safety margin uh, with that 15 parts per billion level as an actionable level. But in Portsmouth, most of the 30 water sources found to be unacceptable simply needed to be used and flushed. After five minutes of running the water, 27 sources showed acceptable levels of lead. It's why the Virginia Beach School Division is creating a flushing program that will clear the lines each summer. So that if pipes happen to sit for a long period of time, so when you talk about schools, it's easy to know, hey, before you come back to school at the end of summertime, we're going to implement a flushing program where we flush every uh, every one of those drinking sources and food prep sources. Portsmouth Public Schools says it fixed the three water sources still showing unacceptable lead levels after the retest. A cafeteria line at Olive Branch Preschool and two classroom sinks at Woodrow Wilson and Churchland High Schools. We're also asking for the lead test from other local school districts and we'll share that information when we get it. So talking about flushing the system, it's not just a practice for local school districts. It also could be useful for you at home. If you have a uh, faucet, a sink, something like that, a water source that's used infrequently, make sure to run that water if it's been in there for a while before consuming or drinking it. Reporting live in the newsroom, Evan Watson, 13 News Now.